Hi, this is Tim Andrews, President Chief Executive Officer of ASI. Um, hope you're well in all of this pandemic. Um, seem, things seem to be starting to get back to some level of normalcy around the country, uh, and certainly the industry is starting to come back. So today I wanted to share some of the latest uh, statistics from ESP, uh, our search and business platform, uh, and also talk about a few other ASI initiatives. And also, uh, I've got a pretty big announcement. Uh, first, with the announcement. Uh, many of uh, distributors and suppliers have been asking us about ASI Chicago, which was originally scheduled for July. Uh, I'm thrilled to announce we've been able to negotiate uh, with the City of Chicago and all the different entities there to move the show to the fall, uh, September 30th through October 1st. September 30th through October 1st in Chicago. It'll be the first promotional products show of this sort of new reality we're living in. Uh, we did lots of surveying and discussions with distributors and suppliers uh, who seem to be open to the idea of having a show at that point in the year. And so we're happy to really help get the industry restarted, you know, really thinking about re-energizing ourselves and being in a place where we will be, of course, appropriately socially distant. We're going to put a lot of procedures in place to make sure that the show floor is safe, that things are, are, are the way it ought to be uh, based on what's needed in sort of September and early October. But I'm really thrilled about that. We've certainly redesigned the show floor. Uh, in terms of the physical layout. We'll also be, a two, we'll be doing a two-day show, not a typical three-day show. We'll be doing some virtual as well as some live education on the show floor during those two days. Uh, but again, just a great opportunity for people to get together late September, early October, uh, really kick off a new season and a new world for everybody in the promotional products industry. Stay tuned for more information. We're going to be having a press release first thing tomorrow uh, or maybe even later today. And then, of course, there's lots of information on the ASIshow.com website. Um, so, Council Awards are usually at the ASI Show in Chicago. They're our annual event to, to honor the top 40 distributors and suppliers in the industry and also several individuals who have contributed so much to our industry. Uh, the Person of the Year, the International Person of the Year, and a number of other individual awards. So we're still going to have that. Uh, we're going to be doing it virtually on the same date we had planned to have it in Chicago, but again, virtually. So uh, that'll be July 22nd. It's going to be very open to the entire industry. Uh, so be watching for email and also for some physical um, uh, by mail invitations to the people in the top 40 distributors and suppliers. But it's going to be open to everybody. So again, mark your calendar for the evening of July 22nd. We're going to try to make it a really nice evening. Uh, we're going to be you know, in virtual spots. We'll still have a number of different speakers. I plan to maybe dress up uh, just as I would have that night. Uh, to really honor these very important people uh, in our industry and also the top 20, I'm sorry, the top 40 distributor suppliers who have really come through this year uh, delivering PPE products to people on the front lines who really needed them. So we're really a proud uh, industry this year and, and prideful, and we really want to have you join us on that July 22nd uh, event. Um, so things are getting back to normal. There's still a lot we don't know and a lot about normalcy that we're not quite sure of. And like many of all of you, uh, ASI is starting to sort of map out what going back to the office really looks like. Um, you know, first of all, we've, we've operated really seamlessly, as I know many other people have, by working from your homes. Uh, video really is great. The technology is awesome. Wi-Fi, uh, widely available. I frankly can't imagine having done this 10 years ago, uh, all by conference calls and not being able to see my friends and my family and all my colleagues. So, you know, so, but we're on a transition plan, planning out what we're going to look for. Uh, how do we really, you know, station this? Um, you know, we ask uh, already, we have about 450 employees at ASI. We ask for volunteers first, and not that we're going to move back quickly. Um, I've actually, uh, you know, decided that we'll be moving back no sooner than, than sort of mid-July uh, at ASI. No matter what is going on uh, in terms of the recommendations to go back sooner, that's the earliest we would go back. But uh, we first asked for volunteers. We got a nice list of people that have volunteered. Uh, we're now determining all the different rules we'll put in place. You know, taking temperatures to begin with, you know, which restrooms are going to be open, are people going to be assigned to restrooms so we can track issues if they come up, closing conference rooms. Uh, there's a great series that just kicked off today on ASICentral.com. Uh, you would have seen it in your promogram if you're a subscriber to promogram, but on ASICentral.com, it's the beginning of a three-part series of getting back to work and what people need to really think about uh, in terms of the health of their employees in their uh, spaces. So don't miss that, um, that uh, news item, ASICentral.com slash news. Um, we've got some really other good, good news uh, in ESP and some results of ESP. You know, of course, this is the search engine and the business platform used by tens of thousands of people across the industry. Uh, and that really gives us a good glimpse into what's happening. What are people looking for? You know, certainly in January and February, nobody was looking for PPE. And then, of course, that became a big popular search area uh, in the last few weeks. Um, you know, masks are 
are here to stay. They're at the top of the list in terms of pe what people are searching for. But you know, masks may be available at Disney and Universal, which of course have, have announced plans to reopen some of their parks. So you know, it's possible in those places that face masks will be mandatory. Um, you know, people are now wanting face masks logoed. This started out as a phenomenon of blank goods, and for the first time probably ever, a significant number of orders and dollar volume flowing through our uh, industry uh, unimprinted. But you know, now imprinted face masks and other types of PPE are becoming very popular, and we're adding literally hundreds of products to the ESP database that are imprintable uh, products and can be decorated that capture brand, capture mood, uh, but also protect people. So look for that in ESP. Um, you know, I think also, we're also starting to see upticks of searches for non-PPE products. So while there are some long familiar products like caps and hats and pins and tote bags, which had been down and not in the top five products anymore, they're popping back up and are appearing again uh, back in the top. So caps and pins, uh, tote bags, coolers, those kinds of things. Um, you know, we're also seeing a lot of innovation coming into the industry, as we always do, though. Touchless openers, uh, sort of keys that you carry and you allow you to open a door and close a door without actually touching things, they're starting to trend up. And, you know, a month ago, no one really ever heard of, at least I hadn't, a, a touchless opener. So what's next? I'm not really sure, but it's going to be innovation driven by our industry, helping people be protected from this incredible uh, virus. Um, you know, so as we sort of get out of this and the economy starts turning around, um, we're going to continue to post stories. Uh, that, that explain to distributors and suppliers, how do you manage your business through this? How do you manage your recovery? And we've already had lots of interviews with experts, both in our industry but also outside, about how do you get your business back on its feet, because we know that many people have not been on their feet in the last three months. Um, we're going to be posting those from now until through the summer. Um, and, of course, also check out our annual State of the Industry Report from Counselor Magazine that, that was uh, it's based on surveys and, and research done before the, the uh, virus attacked, but also we've done a lot of follow-up research that's going to be added to the state of the industry to sort of show us a before and after uh, activity and sort of what people were saying uh, then. You know, certainly our industry has remained nimble and flexible, which is really incredible. Um, I think part of that is because we're entrepreneurial. Uh, many of the businesses are owned by the owned and managed by families that have had them for, for one, two, three generations, and I think that really allows us to be able to move quickly without the worry of a private investor or the stock market. So I think this is a serious time and lots of challenges, but we're going to come out really great, and there's great opportunities and, and possibilities for everybody, I think, in this. Um, finally, I want to thank everyone you know, for, for donating to the ASI Cares Food Bank uh, Drive. Um, you know, People are in incredible food distress right now. Um, you know, we are blessed, many of us, to either be uh, in our jobs and still working or on unemployment in some cases, but there's many people that, you know, are not as lucky as we are and, and have less and, and are having trouble eating. Uh, there's millions of people that go to bed every night hungry. So we launched this drive about uh, two weeks ago, I guess it's been, and ASI is matching dollar for dollar up to $50,000 total, everything donated to local food banks. You just have to send the uh, receipt um, in to us and we'll take care of the rest. Send it to foodbankdrive at asicentral.com. Foodbankdrive at asicentral.com. And we'll be donating a matching contribution to a nationwide uh, food bank organization. And you donate to your local food bank organization in cash. Uh, that's really the preference of the food bank so they can buy in wholesale and also buy what they need and, and what's, uh, what's required right now for people. So we can make a big difference. Uh, in people's lives in all sorts of ways, by the PPE that people are doing, by helping businesses get back up on their feet, and then also feeding uh, people that are hungry and not nearly as, as lucky as all of us. So thanks very much for joining. Uh, as always, drop me a note anytime you want to reach out to me, Tim Andrews uh, at ASICentral.com. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.